guys welcome again a very good evening in the last video we discussed about how we will create the labels with the help of line option and pick line option now just after creating the labels we are gonna move on to the floor plan so we will switch we will double click on this ground floor option and we are gonna able we are gonna start to create the grid now for the grid grid also you will find in this architecture tab below the levels you will find there is a grid option you can select it here from the grid or i will double escape to exit the command or you can select with the help of gr gr for grid when you press gr again you will come to this command grid now in this grid option you will find here the line option you will find here the start and radius option center and radius or pick line option so first one we will use this line option for this line we are gonna uh, how we will explain how we will create this line option with the help of two points so we are gonna select this one and we will use first point and we will define this second point now when you f define these two points here you will find it will automatically balloon them it will automatically tag them with the one option one grid is created now again you want to create a second grid suppose so you can come here you can find again with the help of line command now this is suppose with the help of line you give an offset value here you give an offset of 1000 enter now if you are gonna click on here what will happen it will give an offset value of 1000 if you created here now you select the points below dash line and the grid is created above this dash line why because you already mentioned an offset value of 1000 so this is the gap of 1000 this is the gap of 1000 now why we will create the grid grid will, will help us to create the shape of our plot area as you see in elevations while we create the labels there is no any option of the arc but here you will find these options for the arc or even you can use at this inclined option you can move at angle but while creating labels you cannot move you cannot change the angle why because height is only defined in the horizontal direction that is perpendicular distance there is no any angle and all to define any height okay now when you create the grids grids will help you to define the plot area or the shape of your plot so shape of your plots that depends on uh, your geographical location shape either that is inclined that is in curve that is linear that is aligned so according to those all shapes we will able to create all type of shape suppose we have any angle so we can create at any angle also this is also a grid now with the help of other options we have arc option start and radius so we will define like first option we will define this end option and we will define this arc option we can create in the shape of arc also now second option we will find here this is the center point suppose we want to first different want to define this center point first then after its circumference then after its end point now we will create with the help of this at any specific corner and all now the last option again with the help of same pick line option we can use this pick line option as you already know we are we already discussed in the levels with the pick line we can we easily easily offset the number of uh, grids so select this pick line option give any offset value here suppose you want to create at 3000 you mention it here 3000 you will come here and you can click on here or click on here so you create six and seven it will automatically ballooning this one two three four five six seven all the grids are created so this is how you can use the grids option to create to define the shape of your plot area i will select them like this delete them now we are gonna create some grids for the our for our project so as I just show you in the south elevation we already defined all type of labels now after defining the labels we just move on to ground floor and at this ground floor we are gonna 
create some grids according to the project details. So we will have here some project details according to this we are going to create these grids. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 vertical grids and remaining 10 horizontal grids. So we will start with this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So first one is this vertical after this 2000 then 3600 mm gap then 1000 then 1600 then 1700 then 2500. We have these type of gap, gaps here. With the help of these gaps, we were able to create these grids. So I will create directly with these. I have uh, all the details in my uh, mobile. So with the help of that mobile, I will create these. So you can take the screenshot for the details. If you want to uh, check the details, want to work on the project, you can take the screenshot of this. Now move on to here again we will create gr gr for grid and uh, there is a line option first we will start with this line option and we will create first first point and second point it will create this grid now this will start with eight because before this we already created seven grids that's why it comes with the eight option now do not worry if you want to start with this one now escape this command now double click on here rename it as one now click on the blank space it will renamed as one now after this you can use gr option now we will use this pick line option and we will define here the offset first offset we want to at 2000 enter now we will select this we will we define a 2000 gap now after 2000 we want a 3600 mm offset now we will create this offset after this we required a 1000 mm offset so we will define this 1000 and we will click it here after this we required a 1600 mm offset so we will define here 1600 and click on here 1600 mm offset after this we required a 1700 mm offset so we will create create click on 1700 again offset now we will require a last vertical offset that is 2500 and we can click on here we defined all the seven vertical grids what we find here 2000, 3600, 1000, 1600, 1700 and 2500. All grids are created. Like this, we are gonna discuss or we are gonna help in make, we are gonna make these horizontal, these 10 horizontal grids also. With the help of offset, you can easily start. Now you will able to understand easily. So what you have to do, you have to create, you have to start with these grids. Now again you can start first one with the line option. You can select this line option and you can start with from here. Okay. You can start from here. First one you will create first point and second point. This is 8. Now after this you can select the pick line option and you can use this offset value again. First one is at 800. You can go here. Click here. Now next is at 1700. You can mention 1700 now next one you will find again 800 you can click on here next one you will find at 2700 you can click on here next you will find at 650 you can again click on here next you will find here at 1350 you will click on here next you will find at 1300 offset again click on here next 1700 offset you can go with the 1700 and click on here and the last one we required at 900 and 17th grid is created this is how we can create all type of grids now what you will see let's say here you will select first one all there is a lock option like if we select this and drag this below because this is too much uh, lengthy according to this detail so all grids are automatically comes and below this automatically so this is how you create now these uh, grids are created we can use these grids to define its boundary walls its partition walls main walls foundation walls all the walls are we will able to define with the help of these grids because these grids will help us in understanding the plot area or the shape of the plot so this is all about the grids we can create so how we will verify the distances between these grids as we already mentioned so 
how you will check about the dimensions i will give you the idea you can go to the annotate tab here in the annotate tab you will find a option aligned option you can select this one align now you can go zoom with the help of mouse middle button middle mouse button select first grid second grid third fourth fifth sixth and seventh above them click on here okay now it will show you or so if you do not uh, have any decimal value as it will take uh, more length area to comes to define its 0, 0.00 so what we will do we can go to the un project units we can click on this length option we will use only the zero decimal places like only the integer part we can mention here now here you will easily understand this these all are the gap mentioned here now again the same thing you can go to the aligned option first second third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth and tenth you can dra drag down here and you can click on here now this mm also it will create some uh, length some lengthy options in understanding this so what you will do you can remove this mm option also how again go to the un option click on here thus remove this unit symbol you can click on ok ok now you can easily understand you can easily read the dimensions as you already know you are uh, you are using the millimeter so this is how you can specify the dimensions between these now apart from this if you want to create equal divides if you want to create some equal divisions with the help of grids so that will uh, more easy as compared to this how you will create suppose i will i will create some grids here first grids second grid and we are using with the help of this offset let's say you created some grids at 3500 and after the creation of some grids now you will find you have to maintain the equal distance between these grids so how you will give or you are able to uh, discuss uh, define the equal distance between these grids after the creation you can click on here it will show you the difference you can click on here you can click on 3500 like this again you can click here again you will define 3500 like this now it will create this one so this will not going to work in defining the distances so how you are gonna define the equal distance between all the grids which grids you want so you can go to the annotate option you can use this aligned option here you can select first second third fourth fifth and sixth you can click on here now this is the 3500 suppose you want to create this 3500 or this 5000 gap between all these levels this is in between only this but you want to create this 500,000 mm gap between all the grids so you can lock one that dimension that dimension you required you can lock that dimension after create the lock you will click on this equal option you can click on here now all the dimensions are equal now you will select you can delete go to go to this option and you can check these all are equal dimension now these all are equal so you can create with the help of this equal constraints i will select this one i will delete so i will give you a brief detailed idea about how you will able to create the grids and how you will able to define the grids in your project so this is all about the grids if you like this video if you find it's informative please like subscribe my channel if you don't subscribe it please share with your friends if you are watching this share with your friends it will help me to create more videos to give you a detailed idea about each and every command each and every aspects of this revit tutorials okay so we will meet in the next video and from the next video we are gonna discuss about how we will create architectural walls in our project with the help of these grids or without these grids so let's meet in the next video please like subscribe and if you have any type of doubt you can comment below
and I will give you the response as soon as possible. Okay guys, thank you so much.